Have you ever wondered what makes Valentino, Gucci, Rolex, Cartier, and several other luxury brands so special? There is something that these brands have seemed to master, and no is not charging outrageous amounts for basic products. In fact, it is what makes you and I chase their products despite knowing full well we are paying far more than the actual value. So, what is it that all of these brands have in common? And is there a way for you to build a brand that can challenge or at least compete with these brands? As a matter of fact, there is, and in this video, I'm going to let you in on all of their secrets. So, let's get to them. Number 1. Exclusivity. Luxury is not only about purchasing expensive offerings, but also about claiming the ownership of something exclusive. There is an innate tendency of human beings to chase exclusivity, which is also reflected in our buying ambitions and habits. Take diamonds for example. Sure, they are incredible gemstones, but that is they are stones. There are plenty of other sparkling stones in the world. Red ruby is one such example, but you do not pay thousands of dollars for a tiny piece of red ruby. Why? Well, the world has a lot more red rubis than round and brilliantly cut diamonds. You don't chase diamonds because of their natural characteristics, but because that particular stone is so rare only a few can get their hands on it. This is exactly what most luxury brands capitalize on. They exploit your tendency to chase exclusivity and make exorbitant profits for them. Almost all luxury brands offer a limited collection of their products which are distributed via carefully selected channels. Some even create invite-only experiences for customers, playing right to our needs of feeling validated by letting in us on an exclusive experience. Gucci and Zara are amongst the most desired brands in India because they have only 6 and 21 stores for a population of more than a billion people. There is a sense in people that these brands can only be accessed by the selected few, and everyone wants to be included among those few lucky people. Number 2. High Quality Materials and Craftsmanship Offering or even creating a false sense of exclusivity is an excellent gimmick, but it can be sustained in the long run only if the quality of your products is also impeccable. Surely, brands exploit some of our tendencies, but there is another part of human psychology they cannot ignore, which is to not go after something that has bad reviews. Ask yourself, have you ever tried a restaurant that was rated 2 or 3 stars? You make up your mind even without dining in yourself because of the influence other people have on you. It is exactly what brands try to avoid and ensures whoever purchases their products gets a premium experience. Take Rolex for example, it spares no expense when it comes to selecting premium materials and employing the best manufacturing prices to ensure exceptional durability and precision. A standout feature of their watches is the use of its proprietary alloys such as Evros Gold, which is a unique blend of gold, copper, and a hint of platinum. Their watches also undergo rigorous testing and, because of strict manufacturing protocols, only a limited number of watches are produced every year. No surprises, some of its watches have a waitlist of 5 to 10 years long. Number 3. History and Heritage The origin of the brand, the legacy of its founders, and the value it believes in are just as important as the quality of its products for luxury brands. Take your pick and Google that luxury brand, you will find an extensively long Wikipedia page explaining how the brand found its roots and what led it to mass recognition. Let's discuss Louis Vuitton for this one. Louis Vuitton's history dates back to 1854, long before World War I. The man started his career by designing custom trunks and travel cases, and a simple but quite intelligent innovation changed his life once and for all. All he did was design a flat top trunk, which at the time was a novel but very practical design to be stacked. It also offered more waterproofing, and soon enough it revolutionized the way people traveled. As the brand gained recognition, it was the go-to for the nobility. It was a symbol that represented the wealth and status of those in the highest class. And no surprise, these were the people the common populace looked towards. Even now, the brand uses the same strategy and hires top-rated celebrities for PR campaigns, which are so subtle that many of us cannot even figure out whether it is a paid campaign or the conscious choice of our beloved celebrities. The brand is now almost two centuries old, but it still sticks true to its roots and always surprises people with its innovative designs. Louis Vuitton, to this day, fulfills its customers' demands no matter how taxing they are. Artisans at the brand have delivered on requests for trunks that can accommodate a variety of items, including a library of books, a sound system, an iPod docking station, and even a folding bed. Number 4. 
personalized customer service. Anyone who has walked into Gucci's or Armani's store knows one instantly starts feeling special. Personalized customer service, including personal shopping experiences and concierge services, plays right to our tendency to feel validated. It is not by coincidence, but because of a rather detailed strategy to provide customers with an experience they have never had before. The staff receives special and comprehensive training on how to pose through body language, basic etiquette for personal presentation, and even how to hold products when presenting them to a customer. A new industry has popped up that is dedicated to training the employees of luxury brands on how to conduct themselves in the presence of customers and the ways to generate leads. So if you are thinking of launching a new luxury brand, this might be the best place to start. Number 5. Copy and Conversation Pause this video right here and visit a social media handle of any of the local brands that you know. What do you see? I bet it is pretty standard and generic. Chances are it did not even tickle your curiosity. Now visit the channel's Instagram handle. Every post and reel represents the brand's value and heritage. I mean, you may not even understand more than half of their captions, but there is something about them that speaks to luxury. Every post and reel by the handles of these luxury brands is carefully crafted and receives clearance from the PR head before going online. Like the sales staff, the luxury brand copy is also a complete industry. These professionals excel at writing short, natural, appealing, and smart copies by keeping customers' desires in perspective. Like their culture and heritage, each brand has a unique voice it can be identified with. Closing See, it is not that hard. You can also create a luxury brand of your own if you have the right product, the right team, and a rich story to tell and connect with. Luxury branding is all about playing human psychology and using it to your advantage. If you have the right brand image, no one will even bat an eye if you sell a leather belt for thousands of dollars. That's all for this video. I hope it has been fun and informative. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section and stay connected with the channel. As always, I will see you at the next one.